Squats are a functional exercise and one of the best and most natural ways of toning your body. This exercise not only build muscle, but also promote stronger legs, hips, knees, and glutes. But getting your form right, especially when lifting heavy, is absolutely key to activating your muscles properly and avoiding injury. However, it's all too easy to perform a squat incorrectly, and even small squat mistakes may put you on the fast track to injury. In this video we are showing you the 5 most common squat mistakes, you should avoid to get most out of your workout and keep injuries at a bay. Mistake number 5. Your knees rotate in or out. While performing squats, rotating your knees internally or externally puts increased stress on your knee joint and ligaments. This increased knee joint stress combined with improper hip alignment, can lead to back injuries. To minimize lower back, hip, and knee problems, keep your hips stacked over your heels and knees stacked over ankles. Keeping your stance shoulder wide may help, but depending on hip mobility and your body type, you may need to adjust it a little wider or narrower. You can also place a resistance band just above the knee to prevent your knees rolling inwards. Number 4. Curving forward. Good posture can make or break a squat. When sitting back in a squat, you can feel tempting to lean forward. However, rounding your back is not good for squats at all, you should keep your back straight. This is especially important if you add weights to your squat as you'll put unnecessary pressure on your neck and spine. Yes, it's normal to lean slightly forward as you sit back and down into your squat, but don't let your back make round shape, keep your chest up, back straight and shoulders in line, this will improve your form and prevent the risk of injuries. Number 3. You lift your heels. Some people get into a bad habit of letting their heels lift as the lower down. Rather than maximizing your workout, this puts more strain on your joints. When you shift your weight to your toes, it leans you forward, and puts you on risk of knee and ankles injuries. This position also doesn't give you the leverage you need in your hips or glutes. The power behind a squat comes from pushing through your heels. A stable foot increases the stability of your knees and reduces the stress on the joint. Number 2. Ignoring your core. While squats build and tone your glutes and legs, you shouldn't ignore your core. When you squat, your core should be engaged. As you stand, you should not only push through your heels and glutes but also through your core muscles. This will give those muscles an extra workout, and also it will benefit you when adding weights. The more muscles engaged in the lift, the more power you'll have. Number 1. Your knees push past your toes. If your knees move beyond your toes during squat, you may experience knee pain or injury. This increased knee angle puts more stress on the joints. When a person squats poorly, often move first from their ankles, and as the ankles move it causes the knees to hinge forward. The weight of the body is then shifted forward onto the balls of the feet. Moving this way leads to greater shear forces on the knee joint and contributes to increased risk of pain and injury. However, it's normal for knees to move forward and even past toe if you perform full deep squats. But make sure your weight is evenly distributed and you maintain your center of gravity over the middle of your feet. This allows your body to remain balanced and work efficiently to produce strength and power. If you find this video informative, give it a like and share with your friends. Subscribe the channel and turn on the notification bell so you never miss a new video. Thanks for watching.